All right, my program's getting a little long now, so uh, I'm gonna try to simplify my variables down, um, and then I'm gonna just have a string that goes from top to bottom of just the variables that it puts out. I'm also gonna add this one in for battery value I get from right over here. Um, I can click on it, and all I have to do is associate a battery, uh, a variable to it. So I went to my globals, and I uh, I add a a value for a variable for battery um, and that worked out all right for me the the next thing I want to do is I kind of want to show off a little bit and make my programming a little bit easier um, the way I'm going to do that is by using this LCD screen back there now this is really cool and it does some neat things the the booger of it is that you have to have a cable going from here into your brain um, to make it work and they sell them separately and so it's very easy to, when you get all your stuff, to lose that. And it's also very easy to just misplace it or just not order it like I've done before. So, kind of a bummer. Uh, so if you're upset right now, I'm sorry. Um, if I wanted to include this now, what I have to do is, I'm gonna have to do some very basic stuff first. Uh, I wanna end up putting it in as a function right here, just like my variables are. So let me bring the, the variables in. All right, so they're always associated. Uh, that actually makes my programming a lot easier because I never have to go back and uh, reestablish a variable in any of my programs, which is cool. The um, the next thing I want to do is I've got to bring in some basic LCD things. Um, it's a little bit more complicated, so I actually have to tell the thing to turn on. Um, so I tell which UART port I put it into, so I put it into one. And the second thing I need to tell the backlight to go on. And so that way it'll be easier to see. And this is going to be either one or a zero. Play with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure the zero means on. The next thing we need to do is I'm going to develop a new uh, function. Click and uh, label it as LCD. And what's, what I'm doing here is I'm setting my display text. So I'm throwing this in here. And I'm telling you which row. So you have. Uh, one row up here on the top and one row down here at the bottom and I'm going to tell it to be in the top row uh, I'm going to type in just the word battery and equals and then I'm going to ask, I'm going to make sure to put space there um, I'm going to ask it to display whatever the value is for the battery value uh, variable when we have associated to it, say it's an integer and select OK the next thing I'm going to do is my other major thing that I've got going on here right now is my potentiometer because I'm having it control this this lift up and down. I already have it established as a variable. So what I have to do is I'm actually going to put it in the second row. And I'm going to type in potent. I have to type in potent instead of potentiometer because potentiometer is just a little too long for that row. And we're going to lose our, our values off the back end if we type a little word in. So uh, I want potent to show whatever the variable value is for potentiometer and I'm going to say that's an integer also then all I have to do is just bring this in um, go down to my user functions and bring the LCD in and now what I have is I have my LCD screen actually reading me output levels while I'm programming which is which is really kinda cool I like it.